UCF at East Carolina. And this one, East Carolina is a five-point dog at home. The total sits at 64.5. Of course, latest numbers at BetUS. Let's go and pull it up on the screen. This is a 7.30 p.m. Eastern time game on ESPNU. And like I said, uh, UCF favored by five. My number has them by 9.28. Uh, the road team is 6-2 and two against the spread in the last eight meetings between these two. UCF is 8-18 eight and 18 in their last 26 American Conference games. It's not good. But East Carolina, 1-5 against the spread in their last six against the AAC. So uh, it is what it is when it comes down to it. Uh, I look at this and I see a mismatch. One as far as talent goes, uh, number 37 roster strength for UCF, number 61 for East Carolina. Uh, I look at this defense and there's a lot that I like about UCF here. Um, ECU wants to pass the football. They're number 38 in pass rate in the country. Um, UCF does not have to defend it all that much. Uh, They're number 81 in pass rate defended. So that's something to look at. Uh, East Carolina, number 23 in passing success rate. UCF is number 65 in that metric. Now, when you go over to running the football, which Mike Houston still believes that you have to run the football some, right? He's not throwing the ball 65, 70% of the time. He is, uh, he's running the ball at 45% clip, right? You look at that, and they're number 37 in PPA per rush. UCF's defense is number 26. As far as rushing success rate is concerned, Number 71 for ECU on offense, and UCF's rushing defense is number five. They have got a stout defensive line. You look at stuff rate, UCF's defense number five, ECU, their offensive line number 123. UCF will live in that backfield. They absolutely will. Uh, have a great something else to pay attention to as far as the passing game is concerned. ECU's offense number 122 in that metric. UCF's defense is number 18. You move it over to the offense. No, you don't have to worry too much about passing the football. ECU's uh, defense is pretty good at stopping the run. Teams don't try and run it on them a bunch because they are pretty good on the defensive line. However, this is a spot where UCF will find ways to get to the perimeter. We talked about this with uh, Ole Miss and what they like to do. Yeah, UCF has got a bunch of speed, and they're going to try and get to the outside. So all these numbers about stuff rate, etc., on this side, Uh, don't matter as much when UCF has the football as opposed to when East Carolina does. So I would pay attention there. Uh, Field position, you know, it's kind of a wash. uh, As far as the defensive field position goes for East Carolina, they're pretty good there. Uh, UCF's offense, not great. Well, East Carolina's offense, not great on field position, and UCF's defense is fantastic. So something to pay attention to there. Um both of these teams really good at defensive red zone conversion percentage. They don't allow teams to score very often. Uh, they especially don't allow a bunch of touchdowns. UCF is number one in the country in defensive red zone touchdown rate, so that's something to uh, to watch as far as finishing drives, right? Uh, points per scoring opportunity, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's going to lean UCF for sure. Um, Looking at this, yeah, I, I like my number on this. I like UCF uh, minus 9.28. I'm only having to give up five. That's less than a touchdown. I know that ECU fought an a awesome game last week against Memphis, but I think UCF is the significantly better team. I'm going to take UCF to cover the five on the road here. So give me, give me the Gus bus. I like that situation there. 